Internet marketing seems to be the new craze in the business community. The days of traditional advertising seem to be dead. Yellow pages? What yellow pages? A recent study just confirmed that most, if not all, major purchases are followed by online searches. Merchants and retailers are now scrambling to get in front of their audiences online and capture them at the exact moment they have a need or desire for a particular product or service. The study also found that most websites get little to no traffic, which really means most businesses do not reap the rewards and profits from being found online. The report also highlighted how being found on page one of Google can have a major impact on the business entity. But the question still remains, what exactly is the most cost-effective way to reach your audience? Internet marketers recommend SEO, also known as search engine optimization. This seems to be the most sought out service, having a professional SEO company get you front and center on Google. The marketers also go on to say that most businesses still don't get it. The marketers go on to equate the internet as a large piece of real estate in which each business person needs to stake their claim. They also go on to say that the traffic that is generated online can easily blow away large billboards on the busiest of highways. They ask a simple question. Would have any business 10 years ago given up the opportunity to advertise in the yellow pages if given the opportunity? Probably not. So why does the average business person seem so nonchalant about internet marketing? Most business people find this all very confusing and likewise seem to get conflicting methods of services with widely varied pricing models from the litany of vendors out there that perform search engine marketing. We interviewed Alan Palange, founder of GoalClicks, to get an insider's opinion of all that goes on in the internet marketing space. Mr. Palange states the SEO community seems to operate like the old Wild West. No rules, no regulations, and certainly no oversight. It seems whatever the elixir of the day is, wins out. It seems companies just say whatever comes to mind to lure in the potential client. The stories are amazing, Palange says, and the promises from most of these companies are without any merit. Unfortunately, the potential clients do not seem to understand what to look for. Palange says it was different only 10 years ago. There were certain methods of advertising that were tested and true. You pretty much went into it understanding what your ROI would be. The shame of it all, Palange says, is the potential to lift the ROI through the roof and decrease the cost of acquiring a new client is off the charts. The internet gives the average business a real weapon. It really removes the advantage the big guys have. Palange of Goal Clicks puts it this way. I'm from the old school. Whatever pitch the salesperson makes needs to be substantiated with real proof. If they tell me they are a member of the Better Business Bureau, great. I expect to go to the BBB website and find they are a member in good standing. If they tell me they guarantee their services, great. I expect to see the guarantee in their contract. From where I come from, talk is cheap. All of the musings of a salesperson must be substantiated. Palange recommends a few things to those thinking about internet marketing. Understand what you are buying. Understand that it's all about the traffic. Yes, the same type of traffic you would obtain if you advertise in a local, regional, or national newspaper. It's all about circulation. You would no more pay someone offering exposure in a publication without first understanding what the demographics are and what the circulation is. Palange recommends placing your website, which he so fondly calls a store, in front of as much traffic as you can afford. We do this by looking for the right words or phrases that people would type into Google when searching for your product or service. For this reason, Palange says you must make sure you understand what word or phrase the SEO company has in store for you. You better also understand what level of traffic you may expect. He repeats the same thing over and over. Traffic is profit. It's all about traffic. The more traffic, the more profits. It's really that simple. He goes on to say, you must tie down the SEO company in the contract. Make sure your campaign is spelled out clearly. If the company offers a guarantee, then make sure it's in writing. Palange finishes with a couple of thoughts. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. As all business people have learned, there is no free lunch. Palange welcomes inquiries directly to goal clicks, where you won't get some smooth-talking salesperson on the phone using language you are certain you have never heard before. 
visit Goal Clicks at www.goalclicks.com or call them at 877-658-1534. Goal Clicks, delivering your clients click after click.